So is John doing work on the wall? So first of all, uh, work is force times this distance here. And um, we know that it is a scalar quantity, so we don't need to worry about direction in our result. Um, but it could be positive or negative. Now, positive work means that there is energy being added to this system or person or whatever. Um, negative means that the, the work is taking away energy. And so um, let's take a look at what we have here. We're talking about forces. So we know from Newton's third law that we have um, a force being applied to the wall. There's John pushing on that wall. And here's John himself. The wall is pushing back with an equal and opposite force. And let's look back at this. Is John doing work on the wall? So we're interested in the wall side of this. What's happening to the wall here? So first of all, um, do we have a force? Yes, we do. We John is pushing and presumably pushing pretty hard. Uh, so we definitely do have a force. So what about the distance? Now the distance has to be parallel to this force to um, be considered work here, the force times the distance. Um, what is the distance that this wall moves as a result of this force? Well, he's pushing really hard, but it's not moving at all. So we could say that the force times uh, zero distance, and we know that there's going to be zero work, zero joules. Um, if work is being done, it's not. Would it be converted into poten potential or kinetic? Well, if the wall was springy and you can push in and it rebounds, perhaps that would be potential. Um, if the wall was on some wheels below it or something like that and it was able to move, um, then he could get the thing moving and with movement we have kinetic energy. So either way, uh, there is no work and so we don't have to worry about the conversion here.